Paul Ben Victor, the star, the writer, and one of the producers of Should Have Been Romeo. It's finally your big night. How excited are you? I'm going to cry because I was just told that we sold out. We sold out this theater. It's like 600 seats. You can't possibly be surprised. There's been a lot of buzz about this movie. Well, I'm very pleased and thrilled, and I know it's going to be a fun night because I know um, from our test audiences, it, it, it screens well. It's a, it's a crowd pleaser. Fantastic. It really is. It's a f it's a feel good movie. Well, we've been here for days shooting for the Newport Beach Film Festival, and I have to say, we haven't seen a team like yours working the festival harder. They've been at every party, they've been to a lot of red carpets. I'm so excited that you're finally here with us. You haven't seen the. Uh, you haven't seen the. Is this the screenwriter? This is one of the writers. Shall, shall I shove him out of the way? Just elbow him. That's that's what we do. No, let's not do that. It's a loving, happy family we, picture. We we you know we we entice people to come to the movie that way. So we're gonna take a step that way. Okay. Why are we so far away? Can we be a little closer? Actually, he's he's fo he's focused in. We could. Okay. We're Let's good. Talk to me, darling. Tell me what it was like to have Ed Asner playing your father. It was so different than what we had thought. We thought he was gonna be a sweet old man. And he was cantankerous, is that the word? I like that word. And curmudgeon -y, as he's famous for being, and he brought that to the, to the character, and, to, to his character and to the movie, and it added a tremendous amount of, you know, just conflict and texture to the, to the movie. And you, if, you're gonna see it tonight? I, I'm actually You'll hoping. See. You'll see, he's just, he adds so much from the second he enters the screen. How many script rewrites did you go through before you finally got to the final? Uh, 50, maybe more, you know. It must have been incredibly exciting for you to see the characters come to life with such a wonderful cast. What's exciting to me is seeing the screenings that we've had and seeing the audiences laughing their butts off. That's exciting to me because we, we set out to do a comedy and there's a lot of big laughs. And when, when, consistently when that happens, I go, Yes, you know, it's hard to make a laugh happen. To me, it's much more difficult to do a drama. I'm much more easy, much more difficult to do a comedy than a drama. Who was How do you it? get people to laugh, it's not easy. Who was it that said dying is easy and comedy is hard? <laughs> I've, dying is easy and comedy is hard. I know, uh, I know that quote. Somebody quote. said it on their deathbed, it's not coming to me, but it's, it's, it's very true. Yeah. Drama it's true. is easier to do than comedy, don't you think? Much, 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 I, I, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Seinfeld does a routine about it, you know, uh, about how in his wonderful, ironic way, the way he does his humor, and he does a whole uh, routine about it, you know, how, I can't re recreate it, but he's genius, you know, but. Get but thee to YouTube that. for that. Yeah. You, you were on The Wire, which is one of the most critically acclaimed and lauded shows on television, an incredible drama. Yes. Is it a relief? to have a comedy out that might lighten up people's perceptions of what you can do? Uh, a relief. It's nice to add it to the, to the, to the, to the uh, repertoire, to the resume. You know, I've been doing it all for a long time, you know, from funny little commercial spots 20 years ago to dramas. You know, I take what comes next. So, actually, uh, The Wire has been getting so much acclaim lately because people are watching it now Netflix and things. after after the fact they didn't watch it nearly as much when they were when it was when it was on so it's uh, it's exciting to see where that where that show's going and what is next for you well we've got this uh, I'm waiting to hear on three movies right now and I hope one of them happens that's my my goal is a is a wonderful movie where I ironically I'm looks like I might be doing this film playing a Greek again, which is what I did in The Wire. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I have a play that I wrote, which is uh, going to a, a theater in Miami and then off Broadway after that. So um, I have, you know, I've got that going. And uh, hey, I've been a free man. I haven't been free for five seasons of a TV show. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's out there. Well, congratulations. Thank you for having your film here with us at the Newport Beach Film Festival. And we wish you a wonderful evening. Very excited. Thank you. It's nice to it's see you. It's been great getting to know you.